In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a simple tip that can really, I think, take your passing offense, especially from shotgun to the next level in Madden 21. We're going to be talking about how to improve your pocket presence in Madden 21. We're going to be showing you just a little bit of an advanced tactic that I just found out uh, late, late last night in the lab. I was kind of messing around with some things and just honestly uh, came across this by Rana, but I think it can really help you. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my name is Cody, and basically what I do is I do Madden 21 tips and tricks. We post four videos like this. Uh, sometimes they're shorter, like this one's going to be just a simple tip uh, that we're going to be breaking down for you guys. Um, and sometimes and sometimes they're a little bit longer uh, where we go through and show you full schemes and things like that. So if you have not already subscribed, I'd highly encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, so what we're going to be talking about today is a simple little um, tip that can help you with your pocket presence. And we're going to show you kind of how um, you can also practice your pocket presence and practice this tip. Now, you can go through and pick whatever offense you want. Um, right, right now, we're in the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. It's one of the best offensive playbooks in Madden 21, in my opinion. And we're just going to pick um, a gun bunch offset, one of the most popular plays in Madden 21 so far, and that's the double post from the gun bunch offset, possibly the best play in Madden 21, um, just because of how powerful uh, the route combinations that you can create with this is. So we're going to use this and we're just going to come out in a standard uh, big nickel over G. This is a very popular defense this year as well. And we're just going to come out in uh, cover two man because it's probably one of the best coverages this year. And we're just going to set up a basic, uh, basic play. Now here's the, here's the tip. The left trigger is a very, very um, powerful button in Madden. It's been very powerful for years. This year they took it out of the game a little bit because it is like, for example, if I hit my running back on this quick flat route here, what you're going to see is if I hold left trigger, he's going to start celebrating and more than likely he's going to fumble the ball. Uh, we'll show you this again and we'll show it to you. Uh, we'll give him a little bit more space so I can kind of show you what I'm talking about. But basically when you um, hold the left trigger, uh, he starts celebrating, as you can see, and he fumbles the ball pretty much every time if you get tackled. So this has been a feature that they added into the game uh, this year. Well, with passing, with pocket presence, left trigger is still very useful. In fact, um, it's probably the most useful button that you can use um, for a lot of reasons. First and foremost is if you are um, a bunch player, you probably know that you can lowball these curls for quick gains against man-to-man -man coverage. Oftentimes, if a, if a hitch route, I'm sorry, a uh, lowball the hitch route, if a hitch route is on the line of scrimmage, that allows it to really do a good job, especially if they press coverage. So here you see, I'll try to press coverage. This is going to be stock unbumpable. You see how I just kind of post him up, and you can hit him with the low ball and easily possession catch that. But left trigger is also useful for pocket presence, okay? And it's useful for allowing your quarterback not only to stand strong in the pocket, but it's also useful for canceling the auto dropback. So if you've seen any video that I've done on, on pocket presence and uh, canceling the quarterback dropback, because what happens is basically at the snap of the ball, he's going to drop back like three or four steps, and then you can basically climb the pocket. Every pocket presence video that you'll watch will talk about the, the importance of climbing the pocket, and it is important. But what if you could do it without having to drop back? Now, um, every video that you'll probably watch on YouTube that talks about this is going to tell you that you should just hold the left joystick to the right, and he'll move like that, as you see right there, and then you can go. But as you can see, you don't have full control. That has been the number one issue with this tactic, at least in my opinion, and why I have not implemented it a ton in my own personal offense. Because if I slide him this way, it almost runs him into the rusher, and it does not bode well for your offense. It really almost hurts you. In fact, you can't really hit snap throws. For example, if I want to snap and throw this, this route to McCoy, it's a little bit more difficult once I have to do that whole animation. I have to let that whole animation go, and it just makes it a little bit more difficult. So you see right here, let it go, and see how late it is. Even though it still works, it's later to the flat than it was supposed to be. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is show you a very simple tip that I think is going to be very, very effective for you for canceling your quarterback drawback. And this very simple tip is to double-click the left trigger button at the snap of the ball. So when this, the ball snaps, you're going to hear, I'm going to hold my controller up to the microphone, and you're going to hear it click twice. Snap of the ball, click twice, and you see that he cancels. That is huge to me because not only does he cancel the quarterback drawback and give you instant control, let me just show you what happens. Unlike both of the previous tips that I gave you uh, for climbing the pocket and for shifting him to the right, 
at the snap of the ball, he is standing in a great position. Now, if I have good pocket presence, the next step would then be, obviously, to step up into these uh, into these little pockets here that is open. Uh, obviously, I don't have edge protector on the Bucks, and Shaq Barrett's going to eat my lunch in practice mode. But you can see that this is a huge, huge thing because it gives you instant control. It gives you instant control over the quarterback, and it gives you instant ability to climb the pocket. In fact, you don't even have to climb the pocket as much, but you see right there. And what I would encourage you to do, if you want to get good at this, you need to go into practice mode. Just throw on a podcast or throw on a video or whatever on YouTube, and you can literally go into practice mode and just practice this over and over again. And what you'll find is this is a very, very simple thing, and when you get used to it, it's not that big of a deal because of where your, your um, hands are on your controller. The left trigger is not hard to click. And in fact, what I would encourage you to do is literally once you click it the second time, keep holding it down because a lot of times you'll want a low ball or, um, and what left trigger does allow you to do is allows you to really stand strong in the pocket and be able to move and slide a lot easier with that left trigger. Um, that was a tip that I think coach DC gave the Madden community. If you haven't followed his channel yet, he's got some great content over there. Um, now sometimes if you don't click the left trigger enough, um, then sometimes what will happen is he will still drop back. So or, I'm sorry, if you don't click the left trigger fast enough, sometimes he will drop back. But if you do, if you can master this right here, I mean, this is huge. Even though he got an instant shed, I was still, I could have still gotten the ball off if I wanted to. Your job as a, as a uh, user is to kind of map out where you're wanting to go uh, pre-step and then follow that up post-step. Most pressure this year is going to come from the edge. And in fact, if you just stand here like this, and then move up, it's actually not that bad. So you'll want to work on this in practice mode, but I find this to be um, just one of the most effective uh, tips that I've pretty much put out, honestly. I think this is just huge. It applies to everything. It applies to under center. It applies to, it applies to shotgun. It applies to iPro. It applies to pistol formations. This literally will take your game, I mean, to the next level, borderline overnight, because you're, you're not going to get this anymore. Um, which this is what happens to a lot of people um, at this point in the year. Watch what's going to happen uh, on this on this specific play. I'm going to just take Davis here, and I'm going to use a rush off the edge. So I'm just going to come around like this. You see that right there? Now, when, when I'm able to step up in the pocket, even though it's not going to solve the problem of the user rush, and we'll just show you this right here, and we'll do our best to mimic this, um, but basically, we're just going to send heavy pressure off that left side, and then we're going to slide left and try to like basically over pursue the line to the left. But now the pressure comes there, and I can just step up, and it buys me uh, probably a, at least a second to be able to get the ball out, even against some of the best blitzes that you're going to face in Madden 21. This is going to be huge for you. Um, there I didn't get it clicked off in time, and you see I got the auto sack from the edge threat animation. That's why, you know, again, I would encourage you go into practice mode, practice this up because it's very, very important to master this. Um, oftentimes, and again, the, the timing of it is everything, right? So at the snap of the ball, I'm going to click left trigger twice. Just like that, and then there you see, we're able to get it out and go. So uh, hopefully this tip is helpful to you. I was really, really excited to do this video, and I hope um, that you're encouraged by the fact that you can certainly cancel the drop back this year. And you can not only cancel it like you did last year, but you can actually cancel it a little bit more of a creative way, and I think a little bit better. Uh, in my personal opinion. So work on this in practice mode. Take it into your game. Let me know how this works for you. If you want more tips like this, maybe some more advanced tactics like full breakdowns, full schemes, um, full defensives, um, pressure setups, all that fun stuff, not only subscribe to my channel, but I'd encourage you to jump in my texting membership. Uh, my texting membership is completely free. Literally, all you have to do to join it is to just text me. My cell phone number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen there. It's 812 Two one six three six four four. I'd love to get you uh, uh, connected with me. Just shoot me a text. Let me know you'd like to receive it. We've done four uh, videos so far for our text message members. One of them was a 55-minute uh, run defensive guide from the Big Nickel Over G. The second one, uh, and that one shows you how to literally stop every single run that you're going to face in Madden 21. Um, and then the uh, other one was a 55-minute uh, defensive guide basically on how to stop trips tight end. Uh, we've got another one coming up probably next week on how to stop shotgun bunch. Uh, and then we'll probably do, uh, a, a, after that, we'll probably do a little bit more offense. 
Uh, we have out a gun cluster guide and a Minnesota Vikings guide within those texting memberships as well. Uh, most of those videos are 45 minutes to an hour long. They're basically full guides, full breakdowns, uh, just kind of showing you the nuances and everything that you can do from them. So if you want to join the text membership, just shoot me a text. If you thought this tip was good, the stuff we have in those for those texting members is really, really good. Um, I think it's better than most paid ebooks that you'll find out there. And then also, if you have not already jumped in our community Discord, my Discord is, my link is in the description. That's a great place to be able to get lab partners so that you can go into game and actually experience what this uh, little trick can do for you as far as how it can allow you to really take your pocket presence up a ton in Madden 21. So just wanted to share this video with you guys. If you have any questions, just shoot me a text message. Uh, I'd love to connect with you that way. We'll be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Um, so be sure to look out on YouTube. And we also have three more videos coming today on our YouTube channel.